In just a few hours, this, the new Mac Pro from Apple, will go on sale. And if you get one, it will have been made in Austin. This picture sent by Apple CEO Tim Cook today, heralding the first of its products to be made in the U.S. in years. And there have been rumors about the Mac Pro being made here in Austin, but until the CEO's announcement, it wasn't a guarantee. Local partner Flextronics is the one behind the physical building, and Apple is touting this circular design as a revolutionary new way for computers. The Pro is designed for professionals with an up to 12 core of processing power, max 64 gigs of memory, up to one terabyte of flash storage, and a new thermal core and specially designed fan to cool down the system and allow for this compact setup. And it's actually quieter than the old Mac Pro. The base model, though, costs $3,000. So why does all of this matter to Central Texas? KX fans Kevin Schwaller went to the experts to find out if this machine could be the start of something bigger for Texas and the nation. We want the next revolution in manufacturing to be made in America. We're going to do that. President Obama declared it in Austin this year, and it seems Apple is on board. This is the new Mac Pro. Apple CEO Tim Cook tweeted a picture of it. Governor Rick Perry responded and said, congrats and proud you chose Texas. So Apple is hardly the first company to start up high-tech manufacturing in Central Texas. Anything you can put a touch screen in, we'll make it. Touch International makes touch screen. The custom cover glass. Its production for medical equipment, special projects, the military, and some other areas is happening right here in Austin already. We have an extremely good talent pool, and it's a beautiful city, so that's a, that's a nice combination. We innovate, we adapt, we move forward. That's what Austin's all about. And now Apple is part of that. Still, some companies say moving production to the U.S. of A simply isn't feasible for them. And although Touch International does manufacturing here in the Austin area, this and other companies are also manufacturing overseas. I would say the industry definitely leads towards Asian manufacturing, um, again, purely cost-driven. It depends on what the company is making. Military, medical, for us, um, it needs to stay in Austin. In Austin, Kevin Schwaller, KXAN News. According to the most recent numbers from the Austin Chamber of Commerce, the area employs close to 30,000 people in tech and has grown nearly 7.5% since 2009. Back in October, Flextronics lobbied the Travis County Commissioners to designate two of their facilities as foreign trade zones, basically a tax exemption for imports and exports. During that meeting, Flextronics said it hired 900 workers to make the then unnamed computer. They plan to hire nearly 1,700 for the project. Apple itself is currently expanding its campus on the northwest side of town and will be complete by 2016 if it all goes to plan. We have reported since last year that Apple would create 3,600 new jobs over a decade. The city, Travis County, and the state okayed some $36 million in incentives to make all this happen. This setup at Apple is not the first big tech advancement in the area or even in Texas this year. Samsung Electronics announced last year they're spending $4 billion renovating its plant here in Austin to increase production of advanced chips for smartphones and tablet computers. In May, Motorola and owner Google started making the Moto X in Fort Worth. It's their new flagship smartphone. It also created 2,000 jobs for North Texas.